Welcome to our headlines. I'm Louisa Liu. Thank you for joining us. City volunteers working in cyclone hit areas of Myanmar got to know a young girl called Thai Waini at a free clinic on July 11. Thai Waini's father is dead and she rarely sees her mother. So the 12 year old has to care for herself and her 7 year old sister in very poor conditions. Volunteers decided to put their sister on their long term care list, and since then their lives have steadily improved. On their first visit to Ganbei village, city volunteers from the Myanmar relief team stepped gingerly into the rickety bamboo structure 12-year-old Dai Weini and her 7-year-old sister Dai Kaixin call home. Worried that the sisters will be bitten at night, the volunteers affix a mosquito net. The fireplace to one side is where meals are cooked. In the pot is the rice Dai Weini are saving to eat later. The two sisters are used to a very simple way of life. The container of water to wash their feet is also for cooking. Dai Weini proudly shows her prized possession, the pencil her teacher gave her. The 12-year-old carefully folds it up her new mosquito net, puts it in a bag with her other treasures. <laughs> Her father deceased and her mother not by her side. Dai Weini has to do odd jobs around the village to get by and support her seven-year-old sister. Now on the list of long-term care recipients, the sisters are visited again by city volunteers who walk through the mud to bring the timely gift of rain clothes as well as food and stationery. In addition, these caves double up as sleeping bags. Knowing they will be warm and dry at night, the sisters show their thanks in hand gestures and facial expressions. Uh, Dai Weini is delighted with the flashlight volunteers give her. I like the things you have given us very much. I'm very happy. After seeing a Burmese version of the sign language song, One Family, the sisters see off the Tsuji team. Dai Weini carrying her little sister on her back. But before leaving, the volunteers urge neighbors to take care of the sisters. Since Cyclone Narges, Tsuji A relief has been ceaseless. Not to forget the two sisters, volunteers pay another visit. We are thinking of ways to build their roof and to make the house better so rainwater doesn't leak through. After a thorough evaluation, to their surprise, volunteers see an oil cloth already covers the leaking roof. She said her neighbors came and helped them. Love is contagious. With help from friends and relatives, the little girl's lives are back on track. Her younger sister and her have started going to school. <laughs> the thought of attending classes lifts Dai Weini to smiles. Inspired by volunteers' kindness, these villagers have come to help rebuild the dilapidated house. Nine days after, as volunteers return to check on Dai Weini, they can no longer recognize her house. Finally, they spot Dai Kaixin leaning against a window and hurry in. Now fenced by bamboo, the house has been renovated once again, with new walls and roof covered with palm leaves. In fact, these were the building materials volunteers purchased, but villagers have moved a step ahead towards completion. Although still lacking furniture, it is already a warm and loving house. Before we came to help, whenever it rained, they had to use an umbrella and hide in the corner until the rain stopped. 
However, by exploiting the natural qualities of the palm leaves, which contract when hot so cool air comes in, and expand when cool so wind is blocked out, the situation has improved. Rainwater is also kept out. Sprouting from the love of both volunteers and villagers, beautiful smiles blossom across the sisters' faces. They are now on the road to a brighter future.